So this is why I'm just not going to continue with HelloFresh. This has been a repeated problem. Alright, so we had a video on Home Chef. Uh, as I mentioned, we also get HelloFresh. Uh, here's the box came in today. And they will give you a little envelope of, you know, supposedly deals, but there's coupons and stuff we usually don't want. And they usually include something. This time, it is Jet Dry. Come on, give me some Jet Dry. <laughs> We also got Home Chef delivered today and they had sweet tarts in here. So, all right, so our ingredients here are spicy maple chicken and black bean poblano flautas. Flautas. And just like Home Chef, they have a large card that has, you know, easy to reach instructions. So now the packaging uh, is where it's been problematic in the past. So this one hasn't been opened yet, so we can just take a look together. So this part's always been good. You get like a little grocery bag full of Hello Fresh, and your ingredients are packed in there. Like this one is the black bean, and pop, pop, blah, 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 blah. and all the ingredients should be inside there. So that should be packaged pretty well. That's where every plate fails. They just have a box full of stuff. All right, and here is the spicy maple chicken and the ingredients, the non-meat ingredients will be in here. Now this is where we consistently have a problem with HelloFresh and every plate. In the bottom of the tub here, there's not much separating it. And a lot of times, yeah, you see that liquid down there? There's just liquid chicken goo in the bottom of this packaging. So the bags don't look wet, but I'm not gonna eat that chicken. I'm just gonna throw all this out. These bags don't appear to be wet, so I guess we can salvage the, the bean meal. So this is why I'm just not gonna continue with HelloFresh. This has been a repeated problem. Now while this packaging from HelloFresh isn't bad, look how much better it is from Home Chef. You get this little bag thing here. It's zip locked up. It's see through so you can see all your stuff in here and even better the meat all comes in one giant so this is home chef not hello fresh the meat all comes in one giant ziploc type bag so you can quickly lift it up and see is there any kind of meat juice leaking in the bottom of that bag and this came today and it's not leaking anywhere now with today's hello fresh these bags aren't wet but we've definitely had in the past where the chicken juice leaked out of those bags and got all over these, depending on how rough FedEx is with the packaging. So, it's just a failure, a repeated failure from HelloFresh. Uh, every time I have to contact their support and get a uh, complaint about it, try to get my money back, they always just want to give you a credit, they don't want to give you your money back. I had to tell them last time that I was going to do a chargeback against the credit card and then they changed their tune and then were willing to give me my money back, but then it takes several days it's just been a real pain to deal with. And the problem is we like the food. The food's really good. And we like this meal delivery. I know some people think it's expensive. The food is pretty good. The recipes are usually pretty easy to follow. And it's usually stuff that we wouldn't cook on our own. Like we're not going to, we'll have a taco night. That's just a little taco kit. We're not going to make a black bean and poblano recipe. So uh, the week before this, we tried to just, this meat problem has been a problem with HelloFresh for a long time. So we tried to just switch it up and just get vegetarian meals. And then the week before, they just didn't deliver the package at all. So again, they were willing to re- And that's another thing. They said they were gonna reimburse me, and they didn't. So I had to follow, I got an email saying they were gonna reimburse me. I had to follow up with support and request my money back again. I mean, to their credit, they do give me money back, but it always takes a lot of dealing. I keep track of it and pay attention. I haven't had to request my money back from Home Chef yet, so I don't know if they're better to deal with it or not. But as far as, Every plate and HelloFresh who are owned by the same company. This leaking meat problem is consistent and we're gonna discontinue. You know, we might try just going all vegetarian with HelloFresh. But I shouldn't have to do that, right? I should be able to choose a steak or chicken if I want to. So it's you know it's annoying. So what? So here's my HelloFresh account. Uh, as you see, uh, I've been getting meals since September of 2020. It is now December 2020. Uh, initially, you get a discount on your meals for the first couple of ones that you sign up on. 
And it can get pretty expensive, you see, where you, but you know, I added extra meals or things like that. So I generally did like the food. I thought it was pretty good when they got it right. And they, you know, they, they nickel and dime you for extra stuff. Uh, this is where we added on some food onto our, you know, our standard plan. We got a more expensive, like you upgrade to steak, something like that. And here's where you would add on a lunch. And then they would kick on delivery fees, you know, so on top of that. So, uh, but you can see refunded here. I'll be back in September. You know, here another $127. Paid, paid, paid. Uh, but you can see here, uh, refunded, refunded, refunded. And this is not just refunded, I believe, is when they actually give me my money back. Most of the time when there's a problem, they want to give you a credit to your account. Uh, so then the price will be lower. Uh, I'm not going through here and adding all this up, trying to figure out which one is which. Uh, but you have to contact them on chat. It's not easy, I'll tell you that. You have to go on and you contact their chat. Yeah, if you go to Help Center FAQ, then you can contact them on chat. And almost every time they offer to give me a credit. Uh, a lot of times it's not the right amount and I have to haggle with them over how much they should be crediting me. And then if you want to get your actual money back, you know, the credit just gives you a credit to your account and then it goes into your next meal you get a discount on. To get your actual money back, they don't like that uh, and it's, a, it's kind of a hassle. And then... Uh, there's been times where they said they were getting my money back and they didn't, so I had to contact them again. So every time I need a refund, I have to make a reminder in my phone and say it's going to be a couple of days, and then I come and check back, and I check my account to make sure I got the money back. And then I had to contact them again. And to their credit, they did eventually give me the money, but uh, you know I don't like that. I'd rather just be right in the first place. Uh, so I guess to be fair, we'll show the actual menus. So here's what I was supposed to get. Again, their app works pretty good as well. The EverPlate app does not work well, but their map works pretty good. You see, if you click on it, uh, you can see all the details, which is nice. Uh, so uh, I've never had a problem with the website itself. It works pretty good, and the app works pretty good. Uh, like, for example, we add on things a lot. So, uh, like, this is the first time she's always had on these <laughs> avocados, but uh, we've had the salad before, and see, I'll probably bail on this chicken and switch to a vegetarian meal, although maybe I'll get a hamburger. So you can see they have random items here. You know, there's a big variety of food to choose from. And like I said, every meal we've had has been pretty good. And then uh, they have these random deals where it's cheaper to add one more meal. So like here, we're doing all vegetarian because we're tired of the meat being messed up. And they have all the stuff you can add on, like a lava cake, uh, Dunkaroos, which is funny. A vanilla cheesecake, uh, those are silly, but um, you can order just various meats, you know, which is nice. Uh, baby carrots is weird. Sometimes, yeah, this thing here. So this thing here, this charred tom tomato and ricotta toast is fantastic. The pesto and caprese sandwiches are fantastic. Uh, we've had both of these multiple times and they're excellent. So, and they're pricey. I mean, it's $8 a piece and there'll be two servings. So you're looking at, you know, adding $16 just for a lunch for the middle of the day for us, but I mean, it's really tasty. So, you know, you have to justify what's worth for you. And you know, I, I don't have a lot of problem with the pricing. I mean, like I said, as I mentioned in the previous videos for the Home Chef, while it is pricier than going to the grocery store, I know me, uh, even before the pandemic, I don't like going to the grocery store. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's not fun for me. And more often than not, I'm gonna order food from Uber or get pizza delivered or something like that. When we start looking at those prices, it is cheaper to get food from somewhere like Home Chef. And it's off, you know, Home Chef or HelloFresh, and obviously it's healthier. Like even if we are getting the meat, this chicken breast thing is what? It's 780 calories, which is way healthier than what I might get from McDonald's or pizza or anything like that. And you know, sometimes it's fun cooking. My wife enjoys it. She'll have a glass of wine while she's making dinner. Uh, you know, and it can be a good time. She plays her music. And some on they have these little oven ready things where you slide the tray in. So, uh, and you know, the, the ingredients are measured out precisely. And like I said before, this is not food that we would normally order. Uh, if we were going to the grocery store, I'm not gonna pick up the ingredients to make spiced chickpea fritters. It's just not gonna happen. If we're getting from the grocery store, I'm gonna get a frozen pizza. I'm gonna have just spaghetti sauce, spaghetti, maybe some ground beef, maybe some diced tomatoes if I'm feeling fancy. 
Uh, if we're gonna have a taco night, it's just gonna be a taco kit with some ground beef mixed in. Occasionally we'll make like a, a steak or a chicken dish, but more often than not, it's something very simple and quick as opposed, and it's, you know, not necessarily healthy. It's really good food. I'm just annoyed they cannot seem to get the meat delivery correct. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's chicken or steak or pork. It's so often those bags are just leaking uh, and that, you know, I mean, it could be nothing wrong with it if it's meat, I guess, if it's steak, I guess, uh, in theory, but uh, chicken liquid grosses me out. So I don't want salmonella. I don't know what else could be in there. And, you know, you don't know how long it's been leaking or if it was leaking in the factory or what's been in there. And it, you know. More importantly, it just shouldn't happen, especially when you're paying this kind of money. They should be able to fix this. And it's not a one-time thing. This has happened over and over again. Although I do like the food, I cannot recommend it because they can't seem to get that meat thing correct. I'll probably keep getting it. Uh, I'm gonna skip meals, you know, randomly, but Home Chef, at least from my two experiences with Home Chef, seems to work a lot better. All right, thanks for checking me out.